All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you in a little more detail each of these steps. Uh, first of all, we have this question, uh, where, where does LU come from, right? Where, where in the world does that come from? How do we do this? How do we decompose A into L and U? And there's a reason we showed you uh, Gaussian elimination first is because that actually helps us. So let me, let's go down here. So I've pre-written some of this so it'll save us a little time in writing uh, because you've seen this all before. So uh, when we, when normally when we do Gaussian elimination, let me just note here, so this is normal Gaussian elimination. Gauss, well, forgot my U, Gauss elimination. In Gauss elimination, uh, what we did, I'm going to get a, a pen here. Okay, what we did is we went, uh, we, we started with this matrix, right, A, and, w and we, we augmented it, and we put B over here, uh, because we were solving originally, we were solving the equation AX equals B, and so, uh, and so we just, we, we augmented, we took the X out, and then we went through a series of steps, and what we came up with was this other matrix we hit where we had A's on the upper triangle uh, and then so we had this upper triangular matrix of uh, modified A's so we've modified this one once and this one twice and, th and then these modified B's over here and so that's what we did in order to get our, uh, our, our, our matrix well it, it just so happens that this part of the matrix is a nice upper triangular matrix just like we need here. We need a lower triangular matrix and an upper triangular matrix. Well, this part actually serves as the upper triangular matrix. And so what that means then is if we just say uh, U equals uh, just our A11, A, uh, A12, A13, uh, a two two prime, a two three prime, a three three double prime, zero zero zero. Okay, so this is our matrix. This is our matrix U. Perfect. Now we have our matrix U just from our Gauss elimination. What we did before. That's that's the same way we can use to come up with our U. And then the question is, how do we come up with our L? And so, if you'll just remember that when we did this Gauss elimination, the first thing that we did uh, to come up with our A22 prime and our A23 prime is we took this uh, A21 over A11, and I'm going to call that F21. We took that and we multiplied it by the first row. Well, I can put that over here because we just did we really did it over here we multiplied that by the first row and then we subtract from that from the second row and that zeroed out uh, that zeroed out this guy right and that's how we did it that's that's how we came up with it and so the fact is maybe we didn't realize it but we were actually coming up with L all along okay L is these uh, made up of these factors that we use to multiply this made uh, each row by to come up with. So the first one we multiplied by was A21 over A11. Uh, the second one we used to get rid of this second element here was we multiplied this, uh, this, this first row by A31 over A11 and then uh, subtracted that from from this row and that zeroed that out so that was that factor and then we and then we multiplied uh, the second row by uh, our modified second row then because these these became primed right uh, we m multiplied that modified second row so that's why we have an a32 uh, prime and these were these had been had been modified divided by uh, a22 and that should have been a prime by a22 prime and so we we do that and that's f32 okay so this is our matrix and so then we that is actually our l so l equals uh, and, and so I'm just going to write it like this uh, actually so we have a one and then it's uh, f21 uh, f31 uh, one and then uh, f Three, two, uh, one, 
and then zeros in the other entries. And that is our L matrix. And we can verify this. Uh, you can just multiply uh, L and U together and, and you'll get back A. Uh, so if you feel like, go ahead and, and do that <laughs> multiplication out, you'll get it. But, but you'll get A and so this is how we do it. This is how we come up with this decomposition of A into L and U. So that's step one.